Hey everybody, this is George from DinosaurGeorge.com answering the questions I get from all around the world. Let's get into it. Our first question comes from Bergen, Norway. This is from Jorgen, uh, Maria, and their mother, Annalise. Annalise, I love your name. That is the most beautiful name. Okay, uh, Annalise says, Dear George, my son has become quite a fan of your site and has challenged me to ask you a question about dinosaurs. Well, first of all, I'm very glad to hear he's a fan of the site, and uh, I'm really glad to hear that uh, that you're that uh, you're taking him up on his challenge. That's kind of cool. I have to say, I'm quite a fan of yours myself. That's very kind of you, Annalise. Thank you. You're a mother with two kids. That means I'm a fan of yours too. <laughs> Uh, she says, I especially like your ending advice about reading and manners. Thank you very much, Annalise. That's very important. Uh, I hope that kids take it to heart. I hope they do become good readers, and more importantly, I hope they do use good manners. On dinosaurs, it should be something about Iguanodon, my favorite dinosaur. That's so cool. Um, as I understand, they walked the earth for quite a long time. What is your opinion? Uh, what is your opinion about why? Oh, what was their main key, main key to success? You know, it must have been their teeth, I believe, Annalise. Um, you look at these dinosaurs and they were very successful. They were around for a considerably long time, much longer than most other dinosaurs make it. Um, we see dinosaurs kind of come and go, but iguanodons were pretty, pretty successful. It must have been their jaw design and gave them the ability and tooth design. It gave them the ability to eat a wider range of food, that's what I believe, so that when the environment starts to change, these dinosaurs weren't um, uh, weren't only adapted to eat a certain type of food. They could kind of browse, and that makes for a very successful animal when you have the ability to eat a variety of different foods. That is, is truly my best guess. Uh, okay, and now a question from Maria, Jorgen's little sister. She asked, did Smilodon eat terror birds? Oh yes, Maria. Smilodons would definitely eat a terror bird if it could kill it. Now that's a pretty, pretty nasty bird. It's not like eating chicken. Uh, this this bird certainly could fend for itself, but I do believe that if they had the chance to kill one, and they would try to kill him, they wanted to get rid of the competition anyway, if they could kill him, it would be a huge uh, terror bird feast, and the saber tooth would probably fight over who gets a leg. <laughs> okay, and now for uh, Jorgen. He says, hey DG, Jorgen here, nice to hear from you buddy. Who do you think would win in a fight between a Tarbosaurus, which I think is now called Tyrannosaurus batar, uh, and a Bahariosaurus? P.S. What are your thoughts on Tarbosaurus being a species of Tyrannosaurus? Um, okay, um, first of all, Tyrannosaurus uh, batar or Tarbosaurus was considerably larger than Bahariosaurus, so I don't think there would be any fight whatsoever. I think, um, now these dinosaurs, one lived in Asia, one lived in, in Africa. I think Bahariosaurus is from Africa. I believe he is. I'm almost certain he is. Um, uh, I, I don't think there would be much of a fight because I think uh, uh, Tarbosaurus is just a gigantic animal. And as for him being a species of Tyrannosaurus, yeah, I think he is. Uh, he's very closely related to Tyrannosaurus Rex, so I do believe he fits into the family of Tyrannosaurus. Finally, they say thanks a lot for answering questions. We really enjoy learning through your videos. So glad you guys are watching these together. Uh, Annalisa, I am very, uh, very proud that you would take the time to watch these with your son and your daughter. And I'm so glad all of you wrote to me. Uh, I hope things are going well for you in Bergen, Norway. All right, Bo from Dilly, Texas. I just was down in Dilly, Texas. Dilly is about an hour and a half south of San Antonio where I live. Bo says, do you know how many teeth a T-Rex have? You know what? I think, Bo, that normally they have something like 52 teeth. I want to say 52. But the thing about Tyrannosaurus rex is he's like other predatory dinosaurs. When a tooth fell out, a new tooth would replace it. So technically, they had endless amounts of teeth, uh, endless as far as, as, as they were alive, basically. But I think at one time, if their mouth was full of teeth, I want to say they would have about 52. Bo, tell all your friends in Dilly, Texas, how much I enjoyed speaking there. The school was great. The students were incredible. I had a blast, and I hope you guys had fun, too. All right, Anthony from Evans, Georgia. Good day again, Dinosaur George. Good day to you, Anthony. If it is okay, I have another quick question about my film. For those of you that don't know, Anthony is a, um, a filmmaker who's uh, wanting to make a film about dinosaurs. He says, at what age would a dinosaur like Utah Raptor be able to hunt? Thank you very much for answering. Uh, Anthony, first of all, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the kind manners. Anthony, I think Utah Raptor and all predatory dinosaurs came out of the egg and they were looking to hunt from day one. Now, they would have started off hunting things like bugs, and then they would have graduated to hunting insects or bigger insects and then reptiles and then little furry mammals. 
Um, hunting with the family, I would guess that they probably would have been about eight months to maybe a year old before the parents would take them with them to start hunting. It just depends on what they're hunting. Now, if they were active uh, hunters bringing down something big, uh, then they're gonna have to be two years, maybe two and a half years old before you're able to start doing that. Um, but I do believe that they would have started hunting the day they came out of the egg. In fact, this is a little, this is a little gross, but I would bet you that uh, the number one thing they would have started hunting on the day they hatched, uh, unfortunately, would have been their younger siblings who couldn't defend themselves. It's tough, but that's the way it is in the bird kingdom. We see that happening where baby uh, eagles are born and the first target is somebody who can't defend themselves and that's a brother or sister in the nest. They would have tried to kick them out. They would have tried to kill them simply to get rid of the competition so they get more food. It's an instinctive thing, but that's sort of where you get the old saying, survival of the fittest. It seems like a cruel world, but it's not. That's just the way nature works. All right, Shane from Victoria. Cycheli's Victoria, I think, I hope that's right, from Cycoria's Vic Victoria, that's in Australia. Cycheli's? Boy, I hope I pronounced that correctly, Shane. He said, hey, DG, my name is Shane, and this is my first question. Is Carnotaurus the king of its family? Well, Shane, Carnotaurus belongs to a family um, called the uh, uh, Abelosaurs. And Abelosaurs, there were some bigger ones there. I think Majungatholus, uh, or I think he now goes by Majungasaurus. No, I take it back. I think he's now Majungatholus. I think so. Anyway, they changed his name. I think he's a little bit bigger than Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is a pretty cool dinosaur, but at his time where he lived, yeah, I guess you could say Carnotaurus was the king of his family, at least for a period of time. Okay, finally, Arlo from San Francisco, California. Are you going to San Francisco? Okay, that's a song. I'm not going to finish it, which is good for everybody. <laughs> okay, dear Dinosaur George, dinosaurs must have died either by a giant wave or volcanoes or a giant meteor. What do you think? This is from Arlen age, or Arlo, age four, a big fan. Arlo, I'm so happy that you took the time to write to me and uh, I'm glad that you're a fan. When I was four, I loved dinosaurs probably just as much as you do. Okay, what do I think killed the dinosaurs? Well, let me tell you something. All the evidence that I've seen and all the study that I've done suggests that it was probably an asteroid, a big rock from outer space. And when it hit the earth, it really changed the environment on the planet. And um, uh, I don't think uh, most of the dinosaurs could survive. Now, the reason why I say most of the dinosaurs is because today, paleontologists, most paleontologists now believe that birds are considered dinosaurs. Modern birds are considered dinosaurs. And so there were birds living at the time when dinosaurs were alive and when the dinosaurs died out, birds made it past that event. So um, I guess we could say not all dinosaurs are dead, birds are alive, but what killed the other dinosaurs, the non-avian dinosaurs, that I believe was an asteroid. Let me tell you guys something really funny. When you talk about a giant wave, one day I was speaking to a group of kids and a little girl asked me if I thought a giant wave had killed the dinosaurs and the little boy next to her heard her say that and he said, that wave is called a salami. <laughs> I'll never forget that. So a giant salami may have killed the dinosaurs. It's tsunami, just so that you know. All right, everybody, that's it for this time. Thank you all for writing to me. If you've got a question, go to my website, dinosaurgeorge.com. Click on the Ask Dinosaur George page, fill out the form and send it. Keep in mind, we get thousands of these questions every month. We cannot answer them all. So if you've written and I haven't responded, please just keep trying. I hope you get in. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of the people around you. For you young people out there, Make sure to practice your reading and become a good reader and always use good manners. Oh, by the way, today is my little brother's birthday. Uh, Jay, happy birthday to you. I'm going to give you this year two times as much as I gave you last year as a gift. So you're getting two times nothing. Ha 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 ha. See you later.